so in the last video we were able to create our to do's model and i promised that we will be performing a put request where we are creating a document and saving it to the mongodb database but unfortunately we'll be doing that next after this video and this is because one of you asked me a question about exporting this module so if i come to my browser here go to my last video creating a mongoose model and scroll to the comment section you'll see that vishant asked this question and this, the question is can we export our to do's model this way export default to do and how we did it is this way now in javascript we have two ways of working with modules a module is a way of helping us to separate logic so we can define our mongoose model in index.js we can just find a press here and add all this code in here if we want and add all our routes in index.js but with time this file will become too much crowded like it will have a lot of lines of codes it will become a hard to lead the code and so on and so forth now to simplify things we have modules we can create our own modules we separate logic like the way we did here we are separating the logic of creating a model and then we can simply import all this logic with some few lines of codes to another file and use it there and also you can see that we can use third party uh, modules or libraries for example mongoose is now a third party uh, module in this file we have express and this is now a third party module we didn't create this it is a variable in npm and if you want you can also create your own module and uh, upload it to npm and uh, maybe you can advertise it so this way we can use modules that are already created by other individuals and this makes our work very easy so as i was saying we have two ways of working with modules the first way is using the common js and the common js way is by using the require statement where we require a module and store it in a constant and now we can use this constant to perform other operations and then how we export modules is by using a global object called module so if i come to index.js file and uh, right here i can console.log console.log module and you'll see that this is a global object so if you come to the console and uh, you'll see that module is a global object with a lot of properties and the property that we are interested in is our exports property so to export this to do we can alternatively say here module dot exports dot to do and we set this one to to do so what is happening we are accessing our global object called module we are accessing the exports property and when you pay a cross attention to it you will say this exports property is set to an empty object so when we say dot to do we are simply adding a new property to this exports object and this to do property we are setting it to be our model so you can change the name of this if you want but you can change the name of this the name that you use here must be the same as this one and it seems like i messed up something here and there we go so what we are doing uh, a recap we are accessing modules and then we access the exports property and add our own property called to do so by this we are able to export our to do model 
and these two lines basically do the same thing okay so if i comment out to this one come to index.js and try to import our to do model right here we can say const to do will be equal to require we access this folder which is on the same uh, path so stroke models and then we access our to do file so we don't need to add .js when we are using require node.js will automatically add it for us so now we can log this to do to the console so right here i'll say to do let's come back and i'll scroll at the bottom i'll try to restart the server by pressing space here and you'll see that this is an object which is now our exports object and inside this object we have a property called to do and this to do is our model so now to directly access our model what we can do is to destructure this property so right here you can wrap this one inside the curry brackets and this will directly get our model this way so now when i come back to the console try to restart the server here you'll see that now we are directly getting our to do's model and uh, the way we exported this is by using this method exports dot to do to do now let me comment out this one and let's use this one i'll come back to the console and uh, try to restart and you can see that we are getting the same same result now what if we want to have a default export because this is like a named export because we have to destructure it from our exports object so to have a default export what we can do is to exclude this to do okay so we have module.exports is equals to to do and this will directly give us our to do's model when we import it here and because we don't have this property we are not destructuring it so i remove this one and now we should still get the same result so right here i'll try to restart the server and you see we are still getting the same same result but this won't work the same way now with our exports here if we try to remove this property this won't work for some reasons so um, if i try to comment out this one come back to the console and refresh you'll see that we are getting an empty object so don't don't use exports is equals to, to do at all if you want to use exports only you need to add the dot to do property okay so now we have seen that we have uh, three methods here we can use this one we can use let me type them out we can use module dot export dot to do is equals to, to do so these two are basically the same and this one is a bit different so let me revit this one so that in here we can do it this way okay so yeah now that is the first way of working with uh, modules so we can use the require statement and then we can export our modules this way now the second way is using es6 syntax and with es6 we use an import statement to import our modules so to use es6 to work with our modules we need to come to package.json file and below the main property here we can add type and the type that we will be adding here is 
module. And now this line of code will allow us to use the import statement to work with modules. So when I come back to my to-do.js here, we can now omit our require statement here. I'll comment it out and then we can use import mongoose from mongoose. And now this is how we can use the import statement to import modules in this file. Okay. So now how can we export our module using the ES6 syntax? What I'll do, I'll just comment out this and then below here, we can now use this line of code, export default to do. Now, when I come here and paste this one here, I have just pasted it there it is. Now, we can come to index.js and we need to get rid of all the required statements. First of all, this is not importing. So I'll take this line of code below our imports that way. And then I'll comment all these ones. Move at the top and you'll see that I have already imported them using the import statement and uncomment this, okay? So what do we have here? We have import express from express, import mongoose from mongoose, and then import .env from .env and now we are importing our to-do. Now, when using the import statement, we must include this to JS. When we omit this, it will draw an error, unlike when using require, okay? Uh, I'll remove this one and remain with this one here. When we log this to the console, we should see that we are exporting our to-do's model. So here, we are using require so let's get rid of require i'll come to index.js and get rid of require and see what we have it's refreshing and you can see that mongodb connection failed because we are not configuring our env file so let me come back to my browser here and go to this other video where we were connecting MongoDB Atlas. So our friend who is Vishant also asked how to write import.env file using module method. So how can we use import statement to configure our .env file? So I'll come back to the code. This is how we are importing our .env file using the import statement now to configure this file so that we can read environment variables from the env file all we need to do is to use now this env so we can say env dot config and we invoke config and this will configure now our env module so that we can read environment variables from a env file so now we should get our to do to the console right here and you'll see that we are getting model as to do and this is now a default export export default to do how can we have a named export so i can remove this one actually i'll just comment it out so that you can see it with with this one with the 6 we can use this syntax export const to do and this will now be a named export so uh, let's see if we are getting something to the console we are getting an error and the error we are getting is that uh, this file this module to do.js does not provide an export named default so we don't have a default export in this module it's a named export and to import it, what we need to do is to destructure it. So right here, we need to use curly brackets and then curly brackets. So when I come back to this and uh, it refreshes, you'll see that we are still getting our model. 
so and that's it so just a recap we have import for importing modules in ES6 and to configure ES6 imports you need to come to package.json and add this property here and we also have the require which comes by default in our node.js and then finally the way we can configure our .env file is to import our module and then configure it just like this so in the rest of the videos personally i'll be using require but if you uh, find import more comfortable with you you can use it but the good thing with import is that it's the same syntax this syntax is the same syntax that is used in react but because it's experimental in node.js i won't uh, depending on it so i'll just get rid of all of this and i'll stick to my uh, old school method and we won't be using our to do's model in this file we'll be creating a to do's route so i'll just get rid of this also and then we configure our .env we invoke our application here and then in our to do file i'll stick to the old school method remove this one and also uh, i'll stick to my export here okay so you can use any export that you want and that's it for this video i hope it was helpful and now i'll see you next